Okay, guys, we're going to look at a couple problems here because you have a test on decimals on Friday. And so we're just going to analyze some word problems to help you with that. So here we go. Adam spent $3.42 on orange juice. Orange juice cost 12 cents per ounce. How many ounces of orange juice did Adam buy? Well, I need to pick out the important info. So we know he spent $3.42 on the orange juice. And the orange juice cost... 12 cents per ounce and we need to know how many ounces so I'm gonna write that down uh, so I'm gonna say spent three dollars and 42 cents and cost is 12 cents per ounce and we need to know how many ounces that's what we're looking for so in order to figure that out we are going to take our three dollars and 42 cents and we're going to divide that by the 12 cents it costs per ounce because i have a decimal in my divisor i need to move that so it looks like a whole number and then i need to move in my dividend the same number of places so my new problem here is going to be 342 Point zero divided by 12. Well, 12 goes into 34 twice. 2 times 12 is 24. I subtract, I get 10. I bring the 2 down. 12 goes into 102 8 times. 8 times 12 is 96. I subtract and I get 6. I need to bring this 0 down now. And then 12 goes into 60 5 times. And now I'm done. The decimal point has to come straight up. So my answer here is 28 and a half ounces, which would be D. Okay. Um, number two is there and it says Alexis rode her bike four and a half miles. Johnny rode his bike eight and one tenth miles. How many more miles did Johnny ride his bike? You're going to go ahead and do that one right now on your own um, as practice. Okay, here's another one. Philip bought apples from the grocery store for $2.20 per pound. If he bought two and a half pounds of apples Monday and one and two tenths pounds of apples Tuesday, how much did he spend on apples in total? Well, what's important here is that he bought apples for $2.20 per pound. He bought two and a half pounds Monday, one and two tenths pounds on Tuesday. And we need to know the total amount spent. So I'm going to say the apples are $2.20 per pound. He bought two and a half pounds on Monday and one and two tenths pounds on Tuesday. We're looking for the total. That's what we're looking for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the pounds together. And I'm gonna get seven, bring down my decimal point. 3.7 pounds is how much he bought. He spent $2.20. So I'm gonna take that $2.20 and I'm gonna multiply that by my three, three and seven tenths pounds. So seven times zero, is zero. Seven times two is 14. Regroup. Seven times two is 14 plus one is 15. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to get rid of this and then multiply my my um, ones place here. Three times zero. Oops, I need my zero placeholder. So now again, three times zero is zero. Three times two is six. Three times two is six. I'm going to add that together. Zero, four, one, carry my one, Eight. Now, I have two decimal places here and one decimal place here. That means I need to have three decimal spots. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Decimal point goes there. So it's eight and fourteen hundredths. Oh, look at that right here. That's dollars. So he spent eight dollars and fourteen cents on apples. Okay. So you guys are going to do this one on your own, number 14. So it says, Indria, Indria, 
can order t-shirts and sweaters at prices and quantities shown on the table. How much does the price of one sweater exceed? That means exceed means it's more than the price of one t-shirt. So you're going to go ahead and figure this one out on your own. Um, it's going to be, you're going to have to do division twice to find the cost of one. And then you're going to have to subtract. So you need to divide to find the cost of one for each, right? And then you're going to have to take whatever one costs more and subtract from that the other price, okay? To get how much does the price of one sweater exceed one t-shirt, okay? So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're gonna look at this one. Emma is saving to buy a video game console that costs $249. She already saved $60 and plans to save $22 per week. How many weeks will she have to save enough money for the video co game console? So first of all, we need to figure out what's important here. Well, she wants to buy the video game console and it costs $249. Okay. She already saved $60. She saved... $60 already. They say she's going to save $22 per week. So her plan is to save $20, $22 per week. And we're looking for the total weeks that she needs to save up. So the first thing we need to do here is take our $249, the total cost of the video game, and subtract the $60 she already saved. So, she still needs $189. So now what we're going to do is take that $189 and divide it by the 22 weeks to figure out how many weeks she needs to save. Well, how many times will 22 go into 189? Well, I think it's got to be somewhere around 9. So I'm going to try 9. So 9 times 2 is 18. Regroup my 1. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. Ooh, that's going to be too big. So I need to go down. Okay, so I'm going to start with 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Regroup my 1. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1 is 17. I'm going to subtract that and I get 13. Okay, now I'm going to put a little decimal point there. I'm going to put a 0 and I'm bring that down. 22 goes into 130, mm, I think 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. Regroup my 1. 6 times 12. 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Oh, that's just slightly too big. Okay, so I need to go down then, right? I'm going to back down to a 5. And I'm going to say 5 times 2 is 10. Regroup my 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. I subtract. And I get 20. Okay. So now I need to say, I need another 0. I'm going to bring that down. Whoopsie. So I'm at 20 and bring down a zero. Now I'm at 200 and that's going to go in nine times nine. I'm going to move this up so you can see what I'm doing. Nine times two is 18. Regroup my one. Nine times two is 18 plus one is 19. I'm going to subtract. I get two. So this is just going to keep repeating. Okay. So how many more weeks is she going to need? Well, I'm at eight and 59 hundredths. Okay. I'm going to round to the nearest week. So five tells eight to go up. So I'm gonna say she's gonna have to save for nine weeks. Okay, you're gonna try number 19 and number 20 on your own here. So for number 19, we say at the market, two and four tenths of carrots cost $1.68 and one eight tenths pounds of broccoli cost $1.43. How much does one pound of broccoli cost than carrots? How much more? So the first thing you need to do is you're going to have to divide, okay, to figure out the cost per pound of each, okay? So you're going to have to take cost and divide it by pounds, okay? Then after you do that for each, then you're going to have to subtract, okay? So you're going to figure that out for 19. And then for 20, 
Twani says, the prices of different items at a food market are shown in the table above. Kevin wants to purchase two and a half pounds of beef and one and eight tenths pounds of chicken. How much will he spend? Well, for this one, you're going to have to multiply. So number 20, you're going to have to multiply. Okay. To figure out the total cost for each. Then your final step will be to add together. Okay. So you're going to do that one on your own. Okay. Thanks guys.